Generally, a civilian can detain someone who commits a crime in his presence. That's called a citizen's arrest. But what if the suspect flees or resists? Can the civilian use deadly force? The New Mexico Court of Appeals considered this issue in the 1997 case of State v. Johnson. During a party at an apartment complex, someone told Matt Neal and his friends Aaron Johnson and Steve Haddocks that a man was breaking into Neal's car in the parking lot. They went outside and saw a man carrying a car stereo while running from Neal's car and getting into a getaway car. Johnson and Haddocks then fired their guns repeatedly at the getaway car as it drove off. Nearby police officers saw the speeding getaway car and stopped it, finding Abel Gallegos inside with a fatal gunshot wound. However, the officers didn't find any weapons. An investigation revealed that one of Johnson's bullets killed Gallegos and one of Haddocks's bullets lodged into the getaway car. The state of New Mexico charged Johnson and Haddocks with second-degree murder. Johnson and Haddocks asked the trial judge to instruct the jury on the defense of justifiable homicide to stop a fleeing felon. Specifically, they argued that private citizens are justified in using deadly force if necessary to stop a fleeing felon, even if the felony is nonviolent and the felon doesn't pose a threat. The judge disagreed and refused to give the requested jury instruction. Ultimately, Johnson and Haddocks pleaded guilty to the lesser-included offense of involuntary manslaughter, but reserved the right to appeal the judge's ruling on the requested jury instruction. Both defendants appealed, but Haddocks abandoned his appeal after oral arguments. Hence, only Johnson's case was fully appealed to the New Mexico Court of Appeals.